Hello everyone, good afternoon, good evening, you're welcome to my channel, my name is Beauty Akwai. Um, today I want to talk about 10 habits that can make your marriage or your relationship stronger. Everybody wants their relationship or marriage to be stronger, right? But um, um, it is the habits, okay, that are displayed in your marriage that will determine whether the marriage will be sweet or sour. Okay, so habit is a consistent and a regular pattern of behavior and you can either create positive or negative habits. One thing you must understand is habits are created. Nobody was born with a particular habit. We all learned. We learned. Is it learned or learned? We learned and we became better at doing the things you do. So you must create a positive habit when you start practicing it it becomes an unconscious act okay so try as much as you can to create a positive habit and practice and because anything you do repeatedly for 30 days gradually becomes a habit so you want to create the right habit the first thing you need to do is okay before i go to the first thing please subscribe to this channel okay subscribe leave a thumbs up leave a comment and when you subscribe make sure you turn on post notification so you can know when i post an amazing video the first habit you need to build in order to have a stronger marriage is this you need to look out for good qualities in your spouse look out for good qualities in your spouse every day do it daily no matter how bad you think your spouse is they have very good qualities so if you focus on the bad qualities you only begin to see the bad side of them but when you decide to focus on the good qualities daily you will appreciate them more so look for the good qualities in your spouse daily the second habit you need to form is know your partner's love language i kind of emphasize on this you can't give money to a woman that desires quality time and you can't use food to um i don't know the word to use you can't be giving your husband food when what he needs from you is respect even if food is very important um the reason why it's important to know your partner's love language is because you want to know what makes him feel good you want to know what makes him feel happy you want to know and you would want to do those things so know your partner's love language everybody has a different way by which love is communicated to them or by which they want love to be communicated to them so find out the way they want to be loved and love them that way the third way to build a habit that will make your relationship stronger is always show respect to your partner especially when you have misunderstanding okay know your limits that's it know your limits don't take them for granted when you have misunderstanding um um you know still maintain the respect you have for them um respect is a way of expressing love and attention that's another way of expressing love it doesn't matter how you feel or how you are not feeling be conscious of showing your partner maximum respect the fact that your partner deserves um deserves an angry response doesn't mean you should give them an angry response especially when the both of you are having a fight so you don't have to respond angrily because um you are angry at them so try as much as you can to maintain kindness when you are having misunderstanding another way to build a stronger habit okay another way to build a stronger habit no to build a habit that can make your marriage stronger is drop your phone like drop your phone um um the last time i went to to get ice cream with my husband and we're waiting in a queue um on a queue um the i discovered everybody there were pressing their phone and i i kept wondering how much technology has gotten into people to the fact that you can't see people with their heads up anymore everybody is on their phone you know sometimes your phone may be getting more attention than your wife or your husband and you don't want to do that when you want to spend quality time with them stop using your phone um if you need to sit 
drop your phone and have meaningful conversation have meaningful conversation there is no connection building when the both of you are always on your phone or always on your laptop working um you know staring at your partner or staring staring at your partner when talking to them makes you feel like you have their attention so staring at your phone or watching television will not make you um notice your partner or it will make you give them your attention so sometimes all that relationship needs may, may be just that um you need to drop your phone um the next habits um you need to all right let me just give you tips what to do when you are not having your phone go out talk hold hands walk okay just do the needful um let them just know that they got your attention i think it will help um help with cooking and cleaning there's another habit that can help build your marriage help with cooking and cleaning it always it is always much more fun when you choose to cook with your partner okay it is fun you know help them the habit of cooking together creates intimacy and connection so one way to even spend time with your partner maybe when he or she is in the kitchen go join them you can chat with them help them with the things you can help them with another habit you can form that will help you build a stronger marriage is learn to appreciate your partner and do that every day okay do that every day however you want to appreciate your partner just do it try and think of at least one thing you appreciate about them okay when you think about one thing you appreciate about them tell them and appreciation would make them do more for you so appreciate them then number six continue dating them continue dating them even after you marry them don't stop doing those things you used to do when you people were still dating so let it continue okay continue dating your spouse tell them you love them tell them why you love them um apologize to them when you are wrong um call them send them love messages it is the things you do in that marriage that will make the marriage sweet okay um number seven surprise your spouse okay everybody loves surprises um once in a while don't wait even until it's their birthday or your anniversary on a normal day just surprise them if you can then learn to say sorry often that's number eight learn to say sorry every time use the aaa approach what i mean by the aaa, AAA approach is apology affection action so when you are wrong apologize show affection and let your action show that you are sorry okay um number nine create couple rituals okay i'm not saying you go and carry goat and kill or chicken no create couple ritual for instance every sunday we go on dates or we must go on a date once in a month once in a year we go on a vacation just me and you or it could just be me and you and the kids i just want to spend quality time with you so such rituals we bond the family um number nine um, okay number 10 finally be a supportive spouse okay be a supportive spouse be willing to give um into your relationship if you keep on withdrawing without depositing into your relationship you will soon run bankrupt so many relationships are running back bankrupt so many marriages are running bankrupt today because we keep getting from it we keep getting and we are not giving the time we are getting we are not giving the attention we are getting we are not giving the respect we are getting we are not giving the love we are getting so the relationship is running bankrupt okay so don't drain your relationship by always taking make sure you are always adding to the relationship so whatsoever you sow in your relationship you will reap okay if you sow quality time you will reap the fruit of quality time if you sow wahala you will reap wahala if you sow love you will reap, reap love you know you can't sow orange and harvest mango it's not possible so you will even reap double of what you sow be a supportive spouse i hope this video has been helpful um i'll see you when i see you bye